Is luck just superstition? Do you think that Lucky Charms is just a cereal and nothing more? Or does superstition and luck have a positive connection that you should exploit to your best advantage? Check it out. Hi, I'm Stacy Storino from Woman 101. Do you believe in the power of four-leaf clover? Ladybugs, troll dolls, the latter especially when playing bingo? Are these silly superstitions or are they actually useful totems that assist you in terms of ushering in luck? First off, if you're superstitious, you're hardly alone. According to a Gallup poll, 50% of Americans are superstitious. In fact, there's evidence that using a lucky charm, symbol, or ritual can actually make one feel luckier, happier, and more optimistic. And better yet, more successful. A study conducted by researchers Lisanne Damish, Barbara Stoberock, and Thomas Musweiler revealed that superstitions provided a sense of control in chaotic situations and created directly observable performance enhancements. Whenever test subjects were told that they were given a lucky ball to putt with while playing golf, they would far outperform those who were given a normal ball. Whenever test subjects were allowed to keep their own lucky totems with them while they were solving anagrams, they always outperformed those who had none. See, now those weird women who whip out the trolls and magic wands in the bingo halls have just been vindicated. But why is this true? If you have a positive attitude, you can certainly be put in a place, both mentally and emotionally, where you find it easier to take calculated intelligent risks and be optimistic about the outcome of those risks. You experienced increased con confidence, which is always the secret sauce in terms of one's success. So believe it or not, when you think something is connected to a physical action, it triggers a neurological response that affects you mentally, physically, emotionally, and depending on the facts, at hand, financially and spiritually too. So whether you believe in the specific ideas of lucky charms, or just think it's all literally a bunch of frosted foo-foo, that's okay. The important takeaway here is that if you believe that you are lucky, you're clearing away self-imposed blockages or emotional red tape so that the path between you and success is all the easier to travel. You don't necessarily need 82 pieces of flair to win the game of life, but hey, it could make things more colorful, no? Just be careful with your newfound power, girlfriend. Belief is a positive thing. Just like it could create improvements for you, it can also result in harm too. Have, a po have positive beliefs. Expect positive outcomes. Play the game of life to win. Whether you've got a troll tucked in your back pocket for luck or not. Now, I'd really love to know if you found any of this advice helpful and what your thoughts are about superstition and luck. So go ahead and comment down below. Smash that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel for free life coaching. We're coming out with cool new videos that'll change the way you live your life. You're a chick with a heart of gold. It's Woman 101's mission to help keep that heart happy, healthy, smart, and strong. Woman 101, be wise with your heart.